cobalt. With the planetary militia refusing to stand down, one of our key targets on Corchevel is under threat. During the days of the Star League, the SLDF operated a logistics depot designed to facilitate supplying the nearby 34th Royal Battle Mech and 68th Jump Infantry Divisions. According to the Dragoons, these facilities were prime targets during the succession wars for the Vultures to pick clean. Very few survived the centuries of conflict. But orbital surveillance shows that the Corchival Depot remains intact. If that is true, then that base is hallowed ground. We cannot let the militia take control of it. F. We cannot. Jaden, your star's mission is to investigate and secure the facility before the militia lays claim to it. Cobalt's insertion point will be here. Far enough from any possible hostiles that may be in the facility. Access the base through the main gate and make your way to the inner sanctum of the mech hangars. You will be given our archived SLDF access codes for the facility which should grant you access to the entirety of the depot. Star League facilities like this are sacred to our people. You will do everything in your power to secure this facility in the name of the Smoke Jaguars, no matter the cost. Be prepared for anything. It will be our honor, Star Colonel. Flight Ops, Condor 419er, inbound to the LZ. No hostiles detected. Scan mode engaged. Scan mode disengaged. Star Commander, you should soon have eyes on the facility. They are built along the side of a mountain range. Keep me apprised of the situation. Aff, Star Colonel. Scan mode engaged. What the hell? Contact, militia forces. Right outside our destination. Have they occupied the facility? Neg, gates remain sealed. They are patrolling just outside. Make short work of them before they can call in reinforcements. On it! New hostile detected. Panther.
receiver terminal nearby. Receiving it as well. Message dated 2784. To those accessing this facility, I am Alexander Kerensky, Commanding General of the Star League Defense Force. The Great Father. In preparation for Operation Exodus. I have commandeered all military supplies and perishable food stored in this facility. However, I have instructed the fleet to leave all medical supplies and non-perishable goods behind. We welcome any hegemony and SLDF personnel to use this facility for shelter to weather the dark times ahead. Know that though, we have chosen to embark into the void of uninhabited space. Our souls will forever remain committed to the ideals of the Star League. Peace, prosperity, and unity for all mankind. My one order to you is this. Survive and ensure that the light of the League does not die in darkness. Yudache. Unbelievable. To think it survived after all this time. Do you think anyone took shelter here during the succession wars? If they did, they do not appear to be here now. Scan mode engaged. Scan mode disengaged.
Scan mode disengaged. Something, but no codes.
It's got something. Over. Looks promising. Let me see. Scan. They should work. We should get back to the door. And another video message is attached. This one from 2820. Hello. I am Michael Evans. Comstar subdirector and former member of the Starlink Department of Communications. Comstar? To anyone hearing this message, we have taken up refuge in what was formerly the Corchival SLDF Depot. For safety, I have erased all known records of this facility from Comstar's database and have encoded new access codes to this transmission. Primus Conrad Toyama is a madman. He is twisting all of our work to maintain the HPG communications network into some kind of religious cult. His supporters are hunting those of us who refuse to indulge in his fantasy that our founder was some kind of prophet or messiah. If you are hearing this, if you knew Jerome Blake to be a man of science, then please, Join us, or find refuge wherever you can. Do not let Blake's true vision of Comstar die with us. What was that about? Disengaged. Scan engaged. I'm now recording and broadcasting this conversation across all frequencies. You will not be able to hide what you're doing here. Scan mode engaged. I have no reason to hide. The Combine has received information that you are illegally housing stolen SLDF mechs and weapons. By order of Coordinator Yoguchi Kyorita, you will open these gates and surrender all of your mechs and SLDF equipment to the Draconis Combine. This is your final warning! Where did you get this information? Was it Comstar? Deceived. We have no mechs or weapons here. Toyama is using you. Designations in this one. Scanned salvage. Looks like they're using this facility to sift through salvage and separate our tech from their own. Huh. Scans. This one has 360 second tags on it.
data course data course most of them appear encrypted but wait this one is from a few minutes ago disengaged so invader batomex inbound they just took out our militia screen inform the others if they head into the depot they'll be trapped try to cheer them green the isf wants those mechs as functional as possible free birth we walked right into their trap F. This isn't good. We need to get out of here. Now! Star Commander, the ISF seems to have rearmed the turret network and auto repair facilities that Kerensky disengaged. Our SLDF codes should be able to flip them over to our side. Do it! These Freeborns are far past wanting an honorable fight. Repair bay's reactivated. I can only disable the turrets from here. Scanner. Flip them to our side, we'll need to hack their control centers. They will be flagged in sensor mode. If we see those control centers, hacking them should be our priority. We can use all the help we can get. Scan mode engaged. going to suck. Just more glory for us. Good enough reason for me. Scan mode engaged. Sanctum turrets flip to our side. They should be a nasty surprise for the Koreans.
I can hardly believe it, to hear Alexander Kerensky's true voice, his message of hope. He was on the right side of history. He knew the great houses were on the verge of tearing themselves apart. It's a shame those poor souls that took refuge here paid for that with their lives. They should have gone with them. Maybe then they would have lived. Perhaps. Or they could have died thousands of light years from home. The people who followed Kerensky were not infallible. They would eventually ignite the Pentagon Civil War after Alexander's death. Had it not been for his son Nicholas, the clans would have never formed. Still, he gave them all a fighting chance. And what did that chance give them? Just a handful of years before House Kurita came and killed them all in a chemical attack. The Combine thought they had SLDF weapons. The director accused Comstar of feeding the Kuritans false info. Yeah. They said they were fleeing the Order. Some sort of internal purge? Does it matter? Regardless of who they were, the Combine were still complicit in murdering them all. It matters because Comstar are now our allies feeding us information. The question is, in this scenario, are we the Kuritans? Or the refugees being led to slaughter? If Comstar ever crosses us, we will crush them just as easily as any other Freeborn. Perhaps. But we should still be cautious of what the demi Percenter says from now on. F. What about the ISF? Now we have the Combine's intelligence agency to worry about as well. The encoded transmissions back at the base. I might be able to backtrack them with enough time. You think so? I think... No, I know I can do it. I've broken into our own systems enough time to know a thing or two about encryption. Then chase it down. But do not let it distract you from your duties. I still need you focused in the field. Will do, Star Commander. <laughs> 